Now that we've now that we've covered all of the things in the color portfolio, let's go over our lightning system, Simply Blonde. Simply Blonde acts with the LCT complex. So that means lift, control, and tone. All of our lighteners are just are designed with this in mind. So with that in mind, let's talk about our lighteners. Our lighteners, starting with our transparent lightener. Our transparent light, lightener is mixed one to three, and it's also mixed with its own designated developer, okay? So this <coughs> transparent lightener is amazing for, say, your, it only lifts about four levels, so you need to be really discerning with what you're doing with it, but what's great about it is you can see through it. So, you know when you're doing a color correction on someone and you put the lightener on it and it's got that blue-violet base and that blue-violet base kind of tricks you and you take them to the bowl and you rinse them out too soon? Well, and then you realize, oh no, I'm not where I want to be. Well, that's why I love the transparent lightener because you can see right through that. So, it really helps with you seeing where you're going. Um, so, it's, it's great for that. It's a great creative tool for that. Um, I'm sorry, it's five, it lifts up to five levels. Um, next, we have our blue powder lightener, which is our max lightening, and it has, goes up to eight levels of lift. I always tell people that it's a good idea to shake your canisters when you're using them because it helps kind of mix things up a little bit. I think things can settle. I do the same with my developers. I, I don't know if any of you do, but whenever I use a developer, I always give it a, a quick shake just to make sure everything's calibrated right and I'm getting the best results. Uh, the way you mix uh, the blue powder lightener is you can mix it one to two or one to three, and it's calibrated with that blue violet base. So that helps keep with that toning, if you will, and it, um, it, uh, you can you can achieve max lightning even with their 20 volume. So it's kind of like, it's like we talked about before where, you know, is it, you, the, the peroxide is your vehicle. So how fast do you want to get there? You can, you're going to get there no matter what. So if you use 20 or you use 30 or you use 40, it's just a matter of time. Okay. Um, another great tool that's been really popular lately, especially because of all of the big um, moves with balayaging and ombre, is our clay lightener. And it's formulated with kaolin clay. So the great thing about the kaolin clay is that it dries on the outside, but not on the inside. So even if it feels dry on the outside, it's still processing, which has been great. Um, the way you mix the clay is you can mix it one to two, one to three, and you can use 20 or 30 volume with the clay. Another one of our unsung heroes that I love is our cream lightener. Now the cream light lightener is great for like on the process, uh, <laughs> double process, and you can also use it on or off the scalp, right? So this is great for free handing. It has, it can lift up to eight levels. It has a violet base and you mix it one to two and you use 20 or 30 with the Simply Blonde. So once again, I like to point out to everybody that look, they match. So that's how you know they go together, right? These developers are formulated with lots of conditioners. So you really wanna use these together. If you don't, you lose the benefits for sure. All right, another one of our lighteners that I'm really excited about that I don't know if any of you used yet, but it's our Beyond Blonde Lightener. Has anyone used the Beyond Blonde Lightener? Isn't it amazing, right? So what it, the great thing about the Beyond Blonde Lightener is that, Beyond Blonde Lightener, is that it, it um, helps with the inner bonds and the outer bonds. So it targets both. So you're getting long lasting benefits with this um, Beyond, Beyond Bond Lightener. <laughs> <laughs> and they like to refer to it as dual bond technology. And this is where you're going to really pack a punch. This is where you're going to get that nine levels of lift that you're looking for. So if you're going, you're wanting to go high, this is your choice. Okay. And that's great because you're also helping take care of the hair at the same time. Um, you can use this for 20 with 20 or 30 volume and it processes for 45 minutes. All right. Now that we've gone over our lightener portfolio, let's talk ultra lifts. So our Ultra Lift family that we have at Kenra today is our Natural, our Pearl Ash, 
and our ash. This is the blonding cream swatch. So you can see with blonding cream, there's no underlying pigment, but you can see with all of these, lots of ash underlying pigment, violets and blues, right? Okay, so if you have, if you wanna lift someone, you have to start, it's level six, maybe five, but that's kind of pushing it, or lighter to get optimum results. So uh, if, you're, if you have someone that you don't have a lot of pigment to control, underlying pigment, natural's a great choice. I love the pearl ash and all of these can be used with 30 or 40 and they process for 45 minutes so your natural is just going to get you a natural blonde if you use pearl ash you're going to get a cooler blonde and then with the ash you get coolest blonde and then blonding cream we've already gone over that so there's those those are the three high lifts that we have at camera right now then talk about our sheer tones. I don't think there are any sheer tones. Is it in the book? Mm -hmm. Now to talk about our sheer tones. Um, sheer tones are a permanent hair color. Okay, so they're not a toner, they're not anything like that. They're actually used to help shift color and move things if you need them moved and to create a pigment. So the way you mix them is you mix them one to one and you mix them with the Simply Bond 20 and you can process up to 30 minutes. So if you're trying to add, you know, um, some tones to a color that maybe you're missing like that tonal value you're going for, sheer tones are great for that. 